Right guys, welcome to Wonderlust Fun Life Blog. I'm here with Jill. <laughs> a bit slow there, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and we are like a bricks and mortar, so we're housebound until the first of May. So while we're housebound, we decided that we would do some fun things. And one of the things we want to do today is we're going to make a camper van um, shower setup, if you like. So we're going to show you it from building the shower curtain. Um, how we have put it together so it easily comes apart uh, so it's very small and lightweight to be able to put any kind of camper van or car even um, how we're going to hook it up and the kind of shower that we're going to use to be able to get showered on the road simple and easy um, and hopefully you guys will enjoy this so yeah let's get to it right guys so for this build what we need is a few items so we can start putting together the shower curtain top and bottom and um, for, the, for, the, for the for the solar power shower setup so what we have here is um, all bought from home base. So we have plumber's tubing. <laughs> it's two, 22 millimetres and it's 2 metre length. So we need four of these. Chop them into two. To connect the ends we have these um, overflow 90 deg bend pack of two. I call them plumber's elbows. I don't know what the official name is. So we need eight of those. To complete the privacy part of the shower curtain we have opted for the black shower curtain so no one can see through day or night. So we've got two of these because we're not sure if one will fit. Then all the shower curtains come with the standard 12 shower curtain rings and they will go around the top. Um, so to make all of this work you also need one of these. Rob from Father's Toolkit. It's just a hacksaw. Hopefully it has a few more blades around just in case we burn through them. So we are now going to go make a lot of mess, a lot of cutting. Put it together and then in about five minutes you shall see the finished product. These um, poles come in two metre lengths so it just makes more sense just to chop them in half so it would be a metre by a metre and that would be the top and bottom of it. So right, we've got the pipe here guys. This is our end right there and there's in the pipe. Simply just slot it over. You don't need any kind of fastener, nothing like that. You want it so you can easily take it apart when you're finished. So we've got the two ends on. shower curtain and the top of the shower curtain we've got two shower curtains all around it and it's will hang from the actual boot of our van. Um, the bottom one is what will weight the shower curtain down so all you'll be able to see from the bottom is maybe our ankles um, if that. Um, so yeah let's get on with that part now. Right guys, well here we are at our camper, um, at the moment it is still on the drive while we are doing stuff this at my grand's house, um, she's letting us kindly use this drive while we finish doing some of the building like on the van. I'm not going to go and do an inside tour of the van, nothing like that. We're here today, uh, that's going to be a different video by the way, uh, we're here today to test out the shower curtain, hang it and see what happens next and show you how we've got this next stage done. So the next thing you're going to need guys for what we're going to be doing, we're going to be using some paracord which is going to go through each corner, I'm going to drill a hole tied off through each point and then I'll be able to uh, secure it from the hook. Well guys, uh, we're at the boot of the van, I'll show you the boot in a second. Um, what we're going to do is we're basically going to get this North Core hook up, um, you can get these online, they're for actually keeping wetsuits and stuff up so they're for dealing with heavy, quite heavy stuff, it's on a magnet. Uh, I'm going to show you now how we're going to attach this to the boot and then we're going to hang the um, shower curtain on it and I'm going to tie the shower curtain off to get to the right height and then I can get rid of any excess material. As you can see, we've got the shower curtain hooked up. Um, it was a bit of a mission actually, what you've got to do is you've got to unplug the sides because obviously the, the hoops won't go around because the shower curtain's totally sealed and then what we've had to do is thread them in um, on the you know, best even number we can, we can get. Now we're going to hook this up. So next, hook it up. And as you can see, this is how it kind of works. It's just going to hang here, but obviously this is way too um, too low. Oh, actually, for me, it's quite a good height because I can see who's coming around. If I'm getting showered, I can check people out. Um, but it isn't quite long enough, so um, we're going to try and adjust it. So we've left gaps in the bottom of the shower curtain. We've, all, we've turned the bottom over and we stitched it together here. Um, we're just going to run our PVC pipe through until we come to the next opening. And run again through. There he is, he's through there, and then we'll start adding our other ends to it. 
and then we'll build them up as we go. Well, here I am inside the shower. <laughs> inside the shower. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do, if I get the camera in a second, I'll show you inside of here, but yeah, I've got loads of room. So yeah, let's have a go. Hey guys, thanks for joining us inside the shower. Um, so both of us are inside of here, and as you can see, there's, there's plenty, there's plenty of room to get washed and get sorted. Um, yeah, it's just trying to, it's hard trying to give you an, a ratio of what it's like and how big it is. But yeah, man, we're both inside of here right now. We're both like, hey, loads of room, <laughs> uh, lots of privacy. It'd be awesome to get changed in this actually. Standing, get changed, change in tent, everything. Um, and yeah, on the bottom of it, we'll just wait it out with the uh, poles. We'll adjust the size of the poles, um, just because I don't think the shower curtains when we stitched them were quite straight. But it, it works. It works really well. So let's hook up the shower now, and we'll kind of give you a, a principal idea of what it looks like. And then when we're out on the road, we'll actually test it for real, which we plan on doing this weekend, and having a go and see what it feels like. So here we are here with the outdoor shower inflatable. Now this is a nightmare thing. These here are really almost impossible to actually push into place. Um, took me all my time and stuff to get them to do it, do it. The bottom ones on the pads just the same, but once you do it, you inflate it full of air, just like so. Then once you've done that, you should be able to get a good, like well, that's plenty enough to get showered with. Heat up your water as well, so it's a bit, it's a bit harder to get going, but if we'll just test it, it runs for quite some time. Um, and I pumped it up probably about 10 pumps. Would you say we've pumped about 10 pumps in there? Um, and it's still going, so there's plenty in here, yeah. And then if you need more, you can just keep pumping it up. So, um, it'll be interesting on the road dealing with it, <laughs> <laughs> but we'll give it a go, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm not too sure I want to hook the shower head up, I might actually hook it up, I might just like hook it over like that and uh, then when I'm lathered up just <laughs> use it to rinse myself down with um, yeah man but yeah that's it cool so we've had our shower um, we're all dried off all good shower curtains been hanging been dry and it's all good what we now need to do is take it down so I'm thinking we'll grip it from the bottom we'll lift it up and we'll lift it all the way up the top like this once we've done that I can get inside plug to inside I can unclip my hook up like so, and then just disconnect them, and then put the hook up just on the side of the van, and then that's it. So now I can start taking this guy apart, which is what we'll do next. That's it guys, that's pretty much it all now, downside the bag with the PVC pipes. What you need to do guys, uh, for more information on this and to find the instructions, check us out at www.wanderlustvanlifers.co.uk and get more information from there. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.